Yesterday marked the 20th anniversary of one of Dane County's most notorious and most mysterious crimes, the murder of Father Alfred Kuntz. New tonight at 10, an update on the investigation and how it's continuing with a renewed effort by Dane County investigators. Almighty God, have mercy on us, all of your priests, Father Kuntz. 20 years later, a diocese prays for one of its own. This Requiem Mass Saturday in Pine Bluff, a solemn reminder of the mysterious death of Father Alfred Coons. To pray for the repose of his soul, uh, it's fitting that it's done in a, in a Mass that he, he very much celebrated and loved. No arrests and few leads remain in one of Dane County's most investigated and most brutal crimes. Known to those at St. Michael Parish in the village of Dane as Father Al, the 67-year-old priest was found in a school hallway the morning of March 4th, 1998, lying face down with his throat cut in a pool of his own blood. His throat was slit, um, and there was definitely uh, evidence of a fight that occurred there um, where some blows were exchanged. The small community still seeks closure. A diocese seeks peace. Investigators seek answers. We want uh, the mystery to be solved for closure for so many people. We're not ruling anybody out. We don't have any enough information to charge anybody with anything, but somebody out there may know something, and here it is 20 years later. Maybe they're willing to talk to us now. The somber anniversary has triggered a new social media push and the release of new details by the Dane County Sheriff's Office. Just last week, detectives confirming large money transfers had taken place between church accounts just months before his death. Investigators say Father Kuntz changed the executor for his will, asked a friend to pray for him, and within a week before his murder, money had vanished from the sacristy. We want to tell the story um, of Father Kuntz's death, and we're hoping people start following this, and maybe that generates some new interest in the case, and somebody that has been holding on to, for information for the last 20 years decides to... Now is the time to talk to us. But 20 years means a lot has changed. Potential suspects have died. The diocese has different leadership and detectives have retired. People that knew the most about the case have then moved on. But there's also some benefits to that. You get a fresh set of eyes. Unless someone speaks up soon, the case may never be solved. I don't know exactly how close or how far they are. Uh, but, you know, if they're still trying to generate tips through various means, I think that's a good thing. One voice that has remained the same through the years, journalist Matt Abbott, a contributing writer for various Catholic publications. Abbott updates the case every year. It was in all likelihood someone he knew to some degree. And, um, you know, probably there's someone out there who knows something. He has his theories, but like many, his faith that the case will ever be solved is being tested. Um, you know, will that happen with this case? I'm not optimistic, but I, I still hold out hope that the case can be solved. I think there is a real chance that we, we may never know. I hope that's not the case, and I, I think everybody wants this to be solved. Uh, even if it's solved with, a, uh, with the person who's responsible is no longer with us. Every possibility has been explored. Was it the work of a cult? Had he angered a parishioner? Was he about to uncover someone's dark secret? I think uh, he did come across something uh, or you know, became aware of something that uh, someone uh, you know, was fearful of being exposed. And um, as a result, you know, the, the murder took place. The thing I find most fascinating about this case is all of those theories, no matter how different they are, seems to be that there could be a plausible motive in there somewhere. Dane County investigators refuse to give up, but they need someone to help them fill in the rest of the story. If we don't get more information um, or some advances in technology that would... Um, give us more information, then there's a very real possibility that it will go unsolved. Until then, a diocese prays that Father Coons may soon eternally, finally, rest in peace. Nothing could replace finding out what happened and solving this. Especially in the brutal murder, um, 
you know, I think a soul can be a little unsettled, and I, still, I think this, this prayer is very helpful. Now, to follow along with the latest developments, go to the Dane County Sheriff's Office Facebook page or to a Twitter page set up at FR. Alfred Coons 20. The social media campaign is hashtag who killed Father Coons. If you have a tip after all these years, no matter how small it may be, Dane County detectives want to hear from you. Give them a call 608-284-6900 or tips at danesheriff.com.